Well, we were, I, I guess what we were hoping is that uh, as uh, GBT was uh, seeding share, that we would be among the top three because we three, we, we believe that three eat. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Finance Wolf. In this video, Kathy Wood talks about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Kathy Wood of ARK Investments said that they were glad that GBTS Securities was getting them shares in one of the top three ETS because they are sure that those three will be the big winners, which goes against most expectations and faces some tough competition. Third place goes to big corporations. Their number is over 2.1. They've reached a billion dollars, which makes them very happy with BlackRock. Fifth, Fidelity and another company are leading the way in converting their current clients to Git, managing their own funds, and attracting new investments. However, they have an unequal amount of new funds when they enter his platform. ARK users may not know all the details, but they do know that they need to change their Bitcoin to ARK, and they know that it will only cost them a small amount of money. Find out what portion of their current holdings come from GBC and other platforms that could convert but it depends on what they're changing from GBC to RKB. About 100 million out of the total 2.1 billion removed, and Kathy talked about a lot of other things. Please watch the whole movie and like and share it. And please subscribe to our channel Finance Wolf. TFs ultimately will win. And we are against most expectations and against some very, very formidable and much larger companies. Uh, we are number three, and actually our number is over 2.1 billion now. So we've been uh, we've been very very pleased. Of course, BlackRock and Fidelity are number one and number two. They're converting their existing client base from GBTC into uh, into their own funds and attracting new new funds, of course. Uh, but we have a disproportionate uh, amount of new funds coming in onto our platform. Well, of course, we don't know all of that, but we we knew how much we were going to convert from GBTC. So, uh, and we know we know that it is a very small percentage of what we now have. Uh, has the rest come from uh, G GBTC from other platforms? That's very possible. But uh, in terms of what we were converting internally from GBTC to ARKB, uh, it was roughly 100 million out of the 2.1 billion. And bef before I answer that, I, I do want to give a lot of credit to, to our partners in this David uh, versus Goliath battle. Uh, 21 shares uh, is the infrastructure and ops uh, of our 21 shares. And then Resolute is uh, our distribution partner here in the US. So have to give them both lots of credit. And of course, our team, our incredible research team as well. So. Uh, that done, do we agree with Michael Saylor that ultimately uh, this, this category, um, Bitcoin and other crypto assets could be uh, bigger than SPY? Yes, we do. Absolutely, we do. And uh, Bitcoin alone is going to be the biggest uh, part of the entire crypto asset ecosystem. Uh, our expectation out in 2030 that it will be uh, a $20 trillion, it will be worth $20 trillion. Now, how much will ETFs get of that $20 trillion? I don't know, but that already right there is if you think about it, it, I mean, it runs circles around SPY, number one, and I believe all of public equities globally, no matter what wrapper they're in, uh, are valued right now at roughly $120 trillion. So when I say $20 trillion by 2030, um, that's, uh, that's a very big... Uh, okay, so the, the, all of the ETFs out there right now hold about 3.9%, roughly 4% as of as of today, um, of all the Bitcoin outstanding. Now, the really interesting thing about that is if, if you look at on-chain analytics, which our analyst David Puel does for us, uh, you'll see that uh, long-term holders uh, account for 
I believe 15, 15 million of the Bitcoin outstanding, roughly 15 million. Uh, total outstanding right now is 19.5 million. And the total that will ever be outstanding is 21 million. Those long-term holders are not selling. That's what's going on with the price right now. Uh, and the flows into the ETFs, um, have, which have taken the friction out of buying Bitcoin and which can be used as collateral for loans, whereas Bitcoin itself cannot, uh, suggests to us that, you know, that added one and a half million to go in Bitcoin uh, is going to have to cover a lot of uh, investors, institutions, and so forth. In other words, the price will have to go high enough to rest the 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 supply, some of the supply, out of long-term holder hands. And just to clarify, long-term holders, and again, you can track this on chain, uh, they have not moved their Bitcoin from their wallets in uh, at least 155 days. And when that occurs, the odds that they will move their Bitcoin go down dramatically unless the price spikes dramatically. So uh, the halving, so we'll go from roughly 1.9% growth in Bitcoin supply per year down to 0.9%. So we will drop below 1% for the first time. And if you look at the long-term history of gold, uh, very long-term, uh, what you'll find is the average supply growth has been roughly 1%. So now Bitcoin supply growth is dropping below uh, the supply growth of gold. That is, that is a milestone, I would say. Um, and the other difference here is when the gold price spikes, there's usually a, a mining response and, and the supply spikes with it. That cannot happen with Bitcoin. So it's quite a different dynamic. So the halving is that milestone. And if you look historically after halvings, it's usually been very good for the Bitcoin price. Now, uh, it doesn't happen right away. Uh, I think, I don't know why it doesn't happen right away, but it doesn't. Uh, now that the market's becoming more efficient with ETFs, it might, because think about how many people know, even know about the halving this time around, when they didn't even know what Bitcoin was four years ago. They didn't know what it truly was. Um, and if I can just throw one in, in terms of how we try and describe uh, what this monetary revolution is, it's and each one of these words is important. The first, global, that's critical. Private, no government oversight. Digital, decentralized, rules-based monetary system in history. It is what my mentor and many people know Art Laffer for his Laffer curve and fiscal policy and so forth. He's a monetary scholar as well. And he said, I have been waiting for this for 50 years, ever since they closed the gold window in, here in the United States in 19. Yeah, well, we're representing thousands of people, each of whom is going to make his or her decision about what to do with this Bitcoin. Uh, we, are, we do not control that decision. Our clients do. And they are... It, they are, you know, they are individuals who actually have, you know, they're, they're definitely not whales. They're just tiptoeing into the space. So I don't think you could describe us as a whale from that point of view. I, I, I do think that uh, the concern about centralization with ETFs um, is on the market's mind. I think as more and more people understand that, wait a minute, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people making decisions here. Number one, uh, we're not making the decision. It is our clients who are leading us there. And if you listen to that Bitcoin brainstorm, you'll see the movement within the mining community to counter what they perceive uh, as uh, centralization. And so it was very interesting to do uh, a, a minor Bitcoin brainstorm uh, as our ETF.
Kathy Wood says that the amount of Bitcoin that is available each year will grow by about 1.9% going down to 0.9%. We are about to fall below 1% for the first time. If you look at the long history of gold, you will see that the average increase in supply has been around 1%. Now Bitcoin's supply growth is going below gold's supply growth, which is a big moment for Kathy. Another important difference is that when the price of gold goes up, mining responses usually cause supply to go up. But that doesn't happen with Bitcoin. It works in a different way, which makes the holding a major milestone. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel Finance Wolf if you learned something from it. See you in the next video. Thanks.